Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me on today's uh, British version of Hot Rod Sports Car and Polished James Bond reactions is all over. You drive this car, the reaction you get, the sound it makes, the feel when you're doing it is just very different. I don't know how to explain it to you about British cars, but British cars just have a feeling, not to mention a look that is amazing. This car, driven just a little over 3,000 miles a year, great set of wheels and tires from Black Diamond put on here, the calipers, spectacular paint, the interior is beautiful, right? Woo, I get so excited about them. I drive these cars all the time because I'm required to. It's in, uh, it's in the bylaws and the contract. Okay, I just made all that up. But anyway, what I'm really trying to say is I love my job. Are you kidding me? I get to drive this kind of stuff, talk to you about it, and help you figure out how to get it in your garage. Okay, so many times people will say, hey, Tone, that is a great looking car, but we don't really know why it's a great looking car. I wanna point out a couple small things that I see, um, you know, maybe some design touches that the British do that other people don't. For instance, Look at the size of this fender. This is a really big flat area with the headlight molded and most fenders are only this big, right? That gives you the style and that big arch in the front of it, right? This fender vent gives the look of the car is moving. You know that somebody loved this car because they put these on there to keep the rocks from chipping up the side of the car. These are the little things I'm looking for about if somebody who took care of their car. The black diamond wheels you have to say, wow. So you have your choice. These are in silver with a machined face. Those can be painted black. They can be painted bronze with this car. It might be kind of cool, right? The cool thing about owning a car like this is we can fix a couple little things to make it the way you want it if you wanted to do that. Otherwise, we could leave it exactly the way it is. The grill looks spectacular on it. The front end, the design is timeless. It really is. As we look at these cars, especially in the price range, how, when is the last time you driving around saw an Aston Martin Vantage V8 on the road? I don't think so. So anyway, I like to talk about the paint quality because the paint quality is really, really nice. And so if we could, come on up here and let's take a look at that. All right, so we're looking at the paint quality here. Under these nice harsh lights, look how clear and crisp you can read every letter in there. Look at the ceiling with the lights. You can even see every panel up in the roof, right? Like that's the kind of paint that makes a car when you go out at night shine under the lights or you walk up to it coming out of the restaurant and go wow that's my car awesome all right so not only is this a great engine it's also a beautifully designed engine as far as the engine compartment goes i don't know do you know martin askill just asking out there does anybody here know martin askill well if you don't know martin askill martin askill's name is right here he's the one that assembled all this and he's the one that uh that approved it, and that's what you get. You get a little piece of, of British history with a person attached to it. I just love that touch, man. I love the feeling of that. Anyway, all aluminum motor, uh, 4.3 liter V8. They make right around 400 horsepower, uh, and they make a great growl. And this being a rare, rare six-speed, this car rolls down the road. It sounds so good as the engine falls and rises in between the shifts. It's just amazing, amazing. And then you do nice touches like these strut towers and braces here uh, done in uh, an aluminum and then brushed black fasteners so not like everything is all black under there it's got nice color combinations the intake manifolds painted silver and the valve covers are painted black it just touches like that that when you open the hood and you look at it go wow that looks really really nice all right so part of the styling of this car and i'm talking about this car in particular is this the rear end styling this is amazing this is 2022 that we're doing this video the car is 15 years old it's on its way to becoming uh a classic and antique, which is, amazes me. First off, these cars have uh, now started to go back up in value because the new ones are so expensive. Secondly, the back end of this car is fabulous. Just little stuff, even the emblem design, but it's ahead of its time too. These are LED lights in the back for 2007. Uh, this was installed by the collector that owned this car in the past. This is a carbon rear ring that comes off if you don't like it. It wasn't drilled into the car. I think it looks great, but if you don't love it, no worries. That's what I love about cars is everybody's taste. The rear diffuser looks good. You got backup sensors in here. Uh, this right here, I believe, is for the radar detector that's built in front and rear, right? Kind of a nice touch. And lastly, you get this exhaust that just makes a great sound, especially uh, as you're rowing through and moving up and down the gears. Oh, the one thing I wanted to show you real quick is this is a functional car. Maybe, maybe it's not your daily driver, but maybe you want to go to the golf course. Uh, golf clubs fit inside here. They cut out those notches there. Lots of room in here. You want to go to Home Depot, get some lumber, right? You want to go to Home Depot, get some lumber. Maybe you don't do it in your Aston, but you might. But look inside here for a second. Everything is finished from looking at the front of the car 
to looking through the back of the car. These beautiful pieces right here, where the seat belt mounts are, the two-tone leather interior, which is green and tan, goes all the way back to here with suede, all the way back into the trunk area. It's just such a beautiful car, beautiful touches and beautiful, beautiful finishes. I love this shot because here's a shot of you walking up to your car, seeing what this Aston looks like. You go, wow, this is an awesome, awesome car. However, as awesome as the outside is, the inside is just as nice. And that's why I want to share with you and get inside for a second. Let's check that out. All right, so check out how the doors open. The doors actually open up and this uh, out and up right? To give you a lot more room to get in and out. So people like so myself, we're 6'1", 6'2", 6'3", 6'4", can fit in these cars and you have a lot of room in here. Like, look at this. I can almost barely reach the pedals. Matter of fact, I'd have to move the seat up to push the clutch all the way in, but this is nice. The shifter's right here. Uh, the dash is amazing because the gauges sweep like this. They sweep like this. They don't sweep like this. And it's kind of cool to watch them start up too because they all check each other. 8,000 RPM tack, 220 mile an hour speedometer, right? Suede headliner, all leather, leather dash, leather seats, leather door panels, uh, leather panels back here for luggage. So you have nice soft luggage place back here, plus a trunk in back too. So you have plenty of storage to go away for a weekend, which would be really, really nice. And then you have all the modern stuff, you know, power windows and locks and crews and things like that that we talked about, um, and power seats, anyway. When you get a car like this, it's a very different experience. These are hand-built cars by real people, not on an assembly line. An assembly line is fine, but here you're getting somebody who stitched this piece. They stitched that dash. They stitched that door panel. A person did this by hand. The person that ordered this car wanted the two-tone with the, the green and the tan, which just looks so spectacular with the, the outside of this car. It is an amazing piece of history. It's an amazing piece of, of power and performance and fun. And uh, price the way it is, it's almost like free. Anyway, I can't wait for you to enjoy it. I'm not sure anybody doesn't really love James Bond, but you could feel and sound and run like James Bond in this car. It goes down the road, the solid feel of them. These are not just like cobbled together cars. These are hand-built cars. The person that built the engine, his name is signed on the underneath of there, uh, which we saw. But then we're loaded with things like the two-tone full leather interior. Full leather, meaning the dash, the door panels. These are luxury, exotic, you know, bespoke cars that, uh, that are very few a year. Uh, Aston Martin only builds in between, you know, 1,200 to 1,700 cars a year before the sport utility came out. 12 to 1,500, maybe 1,700 cars a year. That's it. That is super low production. That's a, almost a production of the Dodge Viper. And uh, you continue to get amazing, amazing luxury performance and things like that. Anyway, this came out of a great collection. I know the person who owned this car personally, and he's a very good dude. Anyway, call us 301 816 1000. Tell you all about this awesome Aston Martin V8. Don't forget, if you would please, to like the, uh, the video down below, subscribe to the channel. I think you'll see some new content coming out every day. And if you don't mind, share this with your friends. I think they'd like it too. And I'll see you on the test drive. cruising in the Aston. You ask for a test drive, we're giving you a test drive. This is what it would look like you're wheeling your own Aston. Listen to the sound. And so rare to get a V8 rear wheel drive British sports car you know, with a manual transmission. And it's just different, man. It's just different. The way the car holds itself in gear, goes around the corners, and we're not driving very fast. We just happen to be banging T around a little bit. They can pay the price. He has to pay the price, you know. And then, listen to this. Come down the hill, a little more gas. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> was that a lot of fun? Oh my God, best test drive ever. Thank you guys so much for driving with us today. Aston Martin V8 Vantage, six speed, bad A car. I'll see you on the next test drive.